everyone. My name is Karthik and I'm a medical student at UCSD representing California ACP Chapter 3 in Southern California. Today, I'm honored to interview Dr. Doms. Dr. Doms, could you tell our ACP viewers a little bit about yourself and what you do? I'm a, an East Coast guy. Originally, I grew up in, in New Jersey and uh, went to medical school at Dartmouth and then I had the dream of coming out to California. So I, I migrated out here back in the, the mid 90s and uh, ended up doing my residency and chief residency at Scripps Mercy Hospital, um, where I am currently one of the associate program directors. I'm also a hospitalist. I've been a hospitalist for, for 20 years. And one of the great joys of my life is working with the UCSD medical students that rotate through our hospital. Um, I'm married, I've got uh, three kids who are all in, in high school. Um, and I like playing basketball and uh, tennis and, and getting out there and enjoying the outdoors. So. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Doms. I was wondering, could you also tell us, tell our viewers a little bit about how you chose your path in medicine and how you ended up here? Yes, absolutely. So internal medicine is a great specialty to go into if you're not really sure what you want to do, because it gives you so many options. Uh, fellowship, uh, outpatient practice, hospitalist, um, and I was one of those guys. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I kind of enjoyed uh, everything, uh, but I didn't have one thing that I was uh, incredibly passionate about uh, in comparison to everything else. Just like in medical school, I kind of enjoyed every aspect of internal medicine. I liked being in an office. I liked working in an urgent care. I did some rotations in student health, and those were really an enjoyable. Uh, but then I, I think I found my true passion in hospitalist medicine. And uh, I didn't know much about hospitalist medicine. When I first um, became a hospitalist, that was really the early days of the hospitalist movement. I love the, the acuity, uh, the fact that you still develop strong, powerful relationships with people, even though they're usually for the, the short term. Um, and I love the teaching dynamic aspect of working with medical students and residents and going to the bedside and trying to help our patients in one way or another. And of course, we all want to provide the best care to our patients possible. How do you handle perfectionism in medicine? Oh, what a great question. And I don't know if I'm the right guy to ask because I have struggled with this uh, issue with my entire uh, career. And I think the, the aspect of perfectionism that has been a challenge for me is that I tend to beat myself up and, and have uh, inner critical talk sometimes it really been unhealthy uh, for me and, and, and so it's something i've really grappled with uh, over the years uh, they once took a, a group of physicians and they showed them a magnificent work of art that had a black blotch of paint um, in the mi middle of the painting it was a small blotch and they asked uh, physicians what is the first thing that you notice about this painting and there was not all, a single physician that talked about the amazing artwork or how how great the piece was they all said there is a black blotch on, on that painting. Dr. Doms, thank you so much for that wonderful explanation about perfectionism in medicine. What are some solutions and ways that we can turn our inner critics into a force for good? It's something that oftentimes is deeply ingrained in us, so there are no you know, easy uh, answers um, you know, for this. I will say that perfectionism is something that has motivated many of us to the successes that, that we've had. So uh, just a couple of thoughts I want to share with the, the, the medical students. Uh, one is um, don't expect more of yourself than anyone else expects of you. Uh, so when I work with a, a UCSD third year or fourth year medical student, I'm not expecting them to be perfect. I'm not expecting them to know all, all the answers. I'm not expecting them to nail every physical exam uh, uh, point uh, and answer every question that I, I, I give to them. All I'm expecting is uh, they give their very best effort and they, they try their hardest. And when they do that improvement, will come, but they will never achieve perfection. That is why we call it the practice of medicine. I think second uh, thing that's really helpful for combating perfectionism and that inner critic is talk to friends. It's often been said that a problem shared is, is broken in half. You will find that this is not something that you're struggling with alone, but rather something that you know many people are, 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 are suffering from. And so it is so important to get sleep to make sure you're exercising regularly, that you're, you're eating well. You do the things that are nourishing your soul, whatever that, that is. When you do those things, the balance of perfectionism tends to shift the right direction where we expect a lot of ourselves, but we aren't beating ourselves up when we fall short of, of perfection. And I think the final thing I wanna share is uh, for some people that this is a really deep rooted problem 
And uh, there is great um, benefit to considering seeking a mental health professional if you feel like this is something that is preventing you from being the best version of yourself that you can be. Fantastic. Those are all sound like awesome ideas for both managing wellness and managing our own expectations for ourselves. Thank you so much, Dr. Doms. Sure. Just to close out our interview today, I wanted to ask you, is there a wellness quote you'd like to share with our audience? Oh, yes. Uh, one of my very favorite uh, quotes is, be kind to everyone, for everyone is fighting a great battle. And that's been very helpful uh, quote for me. You don't know what battle that person is fighting. A lot of times you see people and you think, boy, everything is going great in their lives. And they're fighting a battle that you know nothing about. Thank you so much, Dr. Dons, for joining me today. Thank you for everyone to our listeners for tuning in. That's all for this episode of the ACP Wellness Series.